In this video we'll show you how to set up the job after you've imported the solid model. So we're in the uh, 3D CAM system so we go to the milling tab and we can do two things here. The first thing is to set up the job. So the first thing we need to consider is the tool change position which is okay for the X and Y to be zero but the Z should not be zero because zero would be the top of the job. The next uh, section is the post processor which you're going to be using. So uh, you pretty much always just need to leave the folder where the post processors are going to be found as they are. <coughs> then you can choose from the list of the existing post processors. So, for instance, if you had a Haas machine, then you could choose that. So, when you are creating the post-processed output, normally it's in G-code file format, but it can be in whatever format the machine tool needs. The options that you have here are that the, the output file will have the same name and be put into the same folder as the job file that you're creating. So output in the same folder is ticked, output to the same name, so when you save the file away then it will have the same name as the job file. The file extension can be whatever you want it to be. Um, we use uh, a default of .pun which is short for punch tape which is a few years old admittedly but it's just one of those things that we use. Uh, if you do that then you can use that um, readily with the Partmaster uh, DNC communications module. If you want to force the output in inches regardless of what the post processor may say then you can put that uh, here. If you're working in inches anyway then the output will be in inches but if you want to force it in inches if you're working in metric for whatever reason then you can do that here. A utility program is something that can be called up by the post processor. This section here is really for um, extending the capabilities of the post processor uh, via a different soft, uh, software application. So uh, having set up the uh, defaults, this becomes the default for the next time you run the system. So those are the system setups. Now before we go on to any machining, we might want to set up the datum position for this component. So to do that we use the set origin command here and the options we have at the moment are we can set the XYZ minimum, mid or maximum position. So if we set the uh, minimum position then the model will be moved such that the bottom left hand corner of the model is now the XYZ minimum position and the maximum position is the top of the model. <coughs> 